Welcome or welcome back. It's your woman Angela K O D. Today we are going to make a very delicious Ghanaian meal. That is a nuhu and potam potam. Nigerians also call it pottage. Come with me and let's make this delicious meal. But we are using cocoa yam for this recipe. But if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and be part of this great family. Thank you. Come with me and let's cook together. Come. Why we need to be needing our cocoa yam? That is the main ingredients. Dry herrings. F uh, fermented fish that is momone and ginger pepper onion salt to taste and palm oil so these are the ingredients we need in for this recipe so guys we start by peeling our cocoa yam you can also use yam plantain potatoes sweet potatoes any tuber of your choice for this recipe but we are using cocoa yam today the good news about this food is that you can use it to feed a six months baby it's so nutritious and healthy and it's so delicious so everybody and also with a uh, old people guys and it depends on and you can even make it veg veg vegetarian without adding any fish or meat to it. You can just make it like that. And so it's my grandmother used to make it like that without any meat or fish. So you wash it. You really need to wash it all the time. Really, really need it. Any shape of your choice. Growing up as a child, my grandfather used to make this food. I never like it. But now I love this so much because you know, when you grow and you really uh, mess up your child's uh, food, you just go for it. This is how they make pepper, pepper, pepper has been one of my favorite but before we are coming to join because every Saturday we are in a local food of that I am going ahead and water it's okay so we'll go ahead and add our fermented fish one onion we'll add the pepper and then we we'll add some dry herrings. This one I'll take it out and blend it later. And then I'm going to flick some also. So this ones I'll flick and just put it in. I'm taking out the bones because my youngest is also going to eat this. She likes it so much. We also need some chopped onions, guys. So go ahead and chop some onions on it. Go ahead and add our chopped onions. Salt. Salt is always to your taste. This amount is okay because we have, we've added a uh, bomone. Uh, so this amount is okay. Guys, let's check on our importer. Importer is doing really perfect. Our mamone is ready. But because my youngest is also going to eat, I'll go ahead and fillet it and remove the bones from it, guys. This bone is very important for you to remove, especially if you have young ones also eating it. So remove my bones. And then I'll take it and put it back. See? It's now it's boneless, so I'll go ahead and put it back in it. Stir everything. Then I'll go ahead and remove the pepper for blending. And I'll also remove the herrings, this one, the big ones I'm going to blend also. I 
we go ahead and blend our pepper and onion. We go ahead and add our ginger. Fresh ginger in your potum potum is a mask, guys. It brings a lot of flavor to your food. Oh. Go ahead and add our cooked macro uh, herrings. I'm an inner, you know, I am. You need to be chewing. go. So go ahead and blend our dry herrings. It's ready, so go ahead and add it to our potage. Just go ahead and add it to your potage. Stir everything in. The flavor here. The twist of the ginger in it, guys, made this uh, potage. The flavor is so unique and pure. I'll taste for salt. I'll add a little salt to this. Just a little bit of salt. Salt is always to your taste. And then I'll stir it in again. And go ahead and add in. Normally, you have to mash some, so I will go ahead and mash a little bit. It's already, it's well cooked, so guys, you can see it looks so good. So I'll go ahead, it's okay, it's already mashed by itself. I'll go ahead and add my palm oil. This is original zoom, you can see the bottom part. So it always has a little, a, a black part attached to it. I'll add my palm oil on the medium heat. I'll just cover it. Guys, our potage or in room or a cup or pot or pot is swimming perfect. So I will go ahead and cover it on the medium heat and then we'll come and serve because it's almost ready, guys. Guys, our emuhu, akum, and potom potom, or kokoyan potage is ready. Look at this deliciousness. I am going to put off the heat because now it's ready. But this food, you always have to wait for it. After putting up the fire, I really have to wait maybe 10 or 15 minutes for it to cool down because it can be really, really hot from the inside and it can burn your tongue. So always let it rest between 10 to 15 minutes. Then you just go ahead and serve. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for coming with me to make this delicious healthy meal. But if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and be part of this great family. And for my subscribers, Team Angela KOD, and everyone watching my videos, this kiss is for you. Thank you so much for your love and support. I really appreciate you guys always coming along. Thank you. Give me a toss. I hit the notification bell. Share the videos with your friends and family. I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. Do we have yours? Kiss, kiss. Mm -hmm.